Hello beautiful people of the internet. How is it going? Just catch my breath first. So today is March 19th, 2020. We are in the middle of a crisis. We're in the middle of what is known as COVID. She is not out to play. She is running rampant. She is invisible, but terrifying. And yes, we, hopefully everyone, if you're at home or if you're not at home and you're watching this, go home. It's almost, it almost feels like I wake up and I think I'm in a dream, but I'm not in a dream. And then I'm like, <laughs> okay. So yes, as you, everyone is aware, there's a lot of things happening right now. And I don't really want to talk about it way too much because I am sure that you all have been hearing it everywhere, everywhere. Even people who are, you know, not credible, they're giving some advice. And I'm like, sister, you don't have no think about it for a second just don't do it don't do it if you're not sure if it's real just don't put it out there okay i just wanted to say if you are one of those few people that still has to work throughout this entire thing i just want to say thank you you are a hero you are so brave like if you are a nurse if you are a doctor if you are anyone who's in the front lines even if you are someone that relies on you just need to keep working for the sake of money you are a hero I don't know how you do it I commend you you are truly superhuman and I am sending you a lot of love Ooh, I'm sweating already oh my god so I woke up this morning and I decided I was like you know what I am tired of wearing because I wake up pretty much every day and put on my sweatpants or I put on my workout clothes because I usually am trying to keep up my workouts throughout this entire thing in my dusty basement I don't know I was just feeling like mo I was feeling motivated to dress up dress nicer and just treat myself a little bit better than I have been and honestly I feel so much more productive today I don't know what that was so I feel so much more productive today than I did the past few days uh, just from what I'm wearing like that's I wanted to share some outfit ideas just a couple nothing crazy uh, just a couple of outfit ideas for you that you can wear you know when you're just at home doing working from home you know but you can still look cute um, but yeah let's do it so my first suggestion is one of my favorite suggestions that I will be giving you is a skirt girl throw on that skirt that you have not worn all winter all fall the weather is warming up I love skirts I love tucking things into skirts in fact I am wearing one right now now that the weather is warming up a little bit I actually threw on this really cute over-the-shoulder uh, top it's like a what are they called bodet 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 I don't know what it's called I will obviously you'll see what I'm talking about but it was an over it's an over the shoulder top and I love this top I actually got this a long time ago from ASOS but girl she's coming out again to play you can throw on a cardigan you can switch the over the shoulder top for like a t-shirt whatever you want but skirts so the second thing I'm going to suggest is nothing crazy is a dress yes obviously dresses for spring groundbreaking but have you thought about throwing over a sweater over your dress? I feel like this look is so cute. You can even throw on a sweater over your, like a full on sweater, not like an open sweater, uh, over your skirt. That's also really cute. The one that I'm wearing is like so fun. Not a lot of people like it. People think I look like a little pumpkin. I don't care. But mine is again from ASOS. ASOS is just pulling through for this video. Oh my God. I mean, a dress is a full outfit. Like it's the top and it's the bottom. You don't have to think about what goes with what. You don't have to think about pairing things together. It's just so easy. It's so easy and highly recommend for when you are lounging around your house during this quarantine, whatever you're doing, working from home, watching Netflix, it's good for all the activities. You know, my next outfit is a really cute overall dress. I love overall dresses, even overall pants, overall shorts, whatever you want to do with the overalls. 
they, in my opinion, are still in style, okay? And my favorite thing is to throw on just like a simple white tee underneath it. It is so comfortable. It's one of those outfits that you just feel good in. I don't know what it is. Whenever I wear this specific overall dress, that's actually from Mango if you're wondering, uh, every time I throw on this specific overall dress, I just feel, I feel so liberated. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I feel like it's just the easiest outfit in the whole freaking world. So if it's a little bit chilly, you can wear just like a long sleeve tee underneath or you can even wear a sweater underneath. That's what I used to do in the fall time. Overall, overall dresses with a sweater underneath. So cute. Uh, but I uh, love this outfit. If you're not a dress person, you're not a skirt person, have you thought? Wait. Have you thought about cargo pants? I know, literally 2015, 2014 me would have gagged if I knew I would be wearing cargo pants right now. Uh, but they're just, now I understand. I understand why all those middle school boys would show up with their cargo pants, their crusty, nasty cargo pants that they wore every day. It's just so comfortable. They're so easy. They're so comfortable and this is great if it's still a little bit chilly where you're living and you, I don't know, your house is a little cold. Uh, this one is A++++. So if you want to make it even easier, just throw on a white tank on top. Girl, so easy, so cute. I almost feel like I'm wearing sweatpants, but they're a little bit more flattering than sweatpants because they like suck you in a little bit more. They have more structure to them. And I don't know, you just look so edgy. They are so adaptable that I even showed you a second look. With these exact pants, I decided to make it a little bit more of a monochrome look. Uh, so I threw on this tank. It's also a tank, but it's a little bit more structured. Okay, a little bit more structured than a normal tank because it has, um, it's like knit material and it also has like a high, um, it has a high neckline and I just really like the monochrome look. I feel like monochrome is very chic. It's very runway. It's very street fashion, you know, uh, and they are both very close in color to each other, but because of the different material, I just feel like it looks so good. So there you go, two outfit ideas for one pant. So if you are working from home, like truly working from home and you still want to kind of feel a sense of normalcy, 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 is that a word, normalcy? Normalness uh, in your daily routine and what you wear, then you can throw on some fun, colorful, like smart pants. So the ones I'm wearing are trousers. I don't know the exact name for it. Are they cigarette pants? Are they trousers? Don't really, don't really know, like suit pant type of material, but they are so fun because they're pink. I mean, I mean, this is a little outfit idea you can throw on. So you can wear your cigarette pants or your trousers or whatever that you want to wear, and then you can throw on a, like a nice, nicer, crisp tee. That's honestly one of my favorite things to do with a look and how to switch up a look is to take something that's a little bit more dressy, a little bit dressier, a little bit more structured and pair it with something that's relaxed, something that's a little bit baggier. That's my favorite thing to do. Like I get so excited. This is honestly one of my favorite looks for working from home because it kind of makes you feel like you're still wearing a work outfit but you're still comfortable because you're wearing, I mean you're technically wearing a t-shirt and then you're wearing pink pants. I mean like you know so you can you can change this look around if you don't have obviously if you don't have pink pants not a lot of people have pink pants. Um, you can throw on your just basic work pants that maybe you would normally wear. I mean, I don't know. You can pair that with like a t-shirt. I feel like that would be a really cool look, honestly. It can feel super weird because we're in this state where you're just, you know, all of a sudden you were going to work, you know, you were going to work every single day, nine to five, and then all of a sudden you're stuck at home having to somehow still be productive when maybe you think of your home as something that is a little bit more casual, something that... I don't know, you kind of have to change the way you look at your environment and look at it more as an office space. And I know some people are used to working from home, um, but since working on my portfolio and doing all of that, um, I've been very, I've gotten really accustomed to my routine at home because I'm still not yet working like in a structured nine to five job. But 
yeah, it can feel super weird. So those are just some outfit ideas that I feel like I just wanted to, I don't know, I just felt like, oh, it's so hot in here. You see like, there's like a line of sweat on my lip. <laughs> um, but yes, I just really felt like filming this today because I felt this sense of motivation just from dressing a little bit nicer than I've normally been doing um, these past couple of days, honestly. Like I've been wearing workout clothes most of the days. Which is fine, I mean like if you just want to wear workout clothes, you just want to wear your sweats, then go ahead sweetie because I know, I know some people really want to take advantage of this work from home and just wear whatever they want. But I hope that you are safe and you're healthy, you're washing your hands, you're drinking a lot of water. Please move your body, work out, do something, take a walk, walk your dog, play with your dog, play with your cat, play with your, we will get through this together. And I will probably see you somewhere on the internet very time soon. Some what? And I will probably see you on the internet sometime very soon. Okay, bye. Adios.